going on YouTube? Kurt says 7 here for the review of Aston Villa versus Man United, where United took home all three points in a 1 0 victory. Yes, lads, back to back victories for United. I'm pleased about that. I'm just not so pleased about the performance, but in saying that, I can't be too critical because when you keep a clean sheet and you bring home three points, there's not too much to be uh, critical about. But in saying that, when you have three shots on goals in 180 minutes, that is something to be a little bit concerned about because I'm used to United creating a lot of chances every single game, and I'm sure you guys are the same. So that is a little bit to be concerned about because I'm more worried about the chance is not being created because fine well we can win 1-0 but what if we play a bigger team and we're not even going to get those chances how are we meant to even score then so I am a little bit worried about that but like I said before three points in the bag I'm happy about that but in saying that this game against Aston Villa was very very scrappy very ugly uh, by far wasn't the best performance of all time uh, we played the opening 15 minutes was very similar to Tottenham very very woeful uh, Villa dominated the first 15 minutes and I, I was getting worried here I'm thinking Jesus Aston Villa bossing us but then we slowly got into it I don't even think we even got into it we just slowly slowly recovered in that first half we were still poor. It was just a moment of brilliance from one matter, in my opinion. Played a 1-2, I think with Luke Shaw, and found an uh, exquisite pass to Adnan Yanate. Cut it back, ripped Mikael Richards, and had a shot. A deflection, found the bottom corner, and uh, we went ahead 1-0. One matter, he is brilliant. He is unreal, but he was very, very sloppy today. He gave the ball so much today. He gave it away so much, I should say. But Adnan Yanese, he was fantastic too. It's just a shame he's not match fit. I think they were saying it's been a year and a half since his last goal for Man United. So it's good that he's got confidence. He's good that he came out after the game and saying he ain't going nowhere. It's all rumours. He wants to fight for his position at United. And that's what we want to see from Manchester United players. But anyways, getting back to the game. We went 1-0 up. Still very, very, very sloppy. But I guess you have to say, and this goes for the second half as well, Villa created absolutely nothing as well. So I guess you've got to be happy with that as well. Defence is doing their job. Half time came, and exactly like the Tottenham game uh, like last week, they came out this week, Villa, and they absolutely bossed it for the first 10 minutes in the second half. And I was thinking to myself, oh, mate, we're going to be up for it here. We are absolutely got our shoes full. Villa, the crowd were getting into it. They were having half chances. And I think the closest they came to scoring was when they had a corner. And Gabby Abongoho headed it to the top corner, but uh, Sergio Romero grabbed it. And uh, I think that was their only shot for the whole game, uh, if I'm mistaken. It was a bit worrying around that time. For me, the most critical part of this game is when Louis Van Gaal made the sub. He bring on Bastian Schweinsteiger. When he came on the pitch, we just looked so more controlled. He came in, he bossed the game. Um, you, ju you could just see him setting everyone up. You can see every time he got the ball, he never ever wasted it. And the only time the ball he did waste was because one matter couldn't control it when he split that pass. So it wasn't even his fault. You can see the calmness when he came onto the pitch. And same with Ander Herrera. When he comes on, you can see we're just a totally different team. We need to find a way to start and Herrera in this team, in my opinion. Rooney, he wasn't the best, you could say. But I think it's more the chance, I'm uh, sorry, I think it's more the reason that we're not even creating chances. So if we're not even creating chancing, uh, chances, how is he meant to score? So I guess you could say you could put it down to that. Now it was the exact same starting 11 as the Tottenham game, except that Adnan Yanaze replaced Ashley Young. Now, like I said, Rooney didn't have the best of games. Uh, Adnan Yanaze was fantastic. Good to see him back. Lost the ball a few times, but you can expect that being rusty. Considering he hasn't played in how long in the first team. Uh, Memphis to pay, I thought, by far, this was a much better game from Memphis. Unlucky not to score that goal. Took it first time, uh, curled that shot, and it just skidded past the post. Very unlucky, very impressed with Memphis uh, in this game. One matter, very happy with him. Morgan Schneiderlin, uh, on the ball, he does give the ball away a lot, while well, he did in this particular game, but defensively, he is sound. I'm really, really impressed with Morgan Schneiderlin, uh, Schneiderlin defensively. Man, that is a tongue twister. Uh, Carrick, he is a boss, and he? he is an absolute boss. And if it wasn't for Schneiderlin and Schweinsteiger, I'm pretty sure Carrick will be playing 90 minutes, but it's good that they're in, so we can save Carrick, uh, so we'll last longer in this season. Luke Shaw was absolutely solid today. 
Daily Blind was man of the match, uh, at least the Barclays man of the match. Smalling, I thought he was fantastic today. Probably my man of the match. Actually, my man of the match was Damien. I thought this kid is fantastic. Very unlucky not to give away a penalty when he was grabbing Mika Richards by the mouth and that. That is typical Italian defending, but he did his job and he did it very, very well in my opinion. And Romero, there's not too much you complain about about Sergio Romero. I know it would be much better having De Gea in there. The lads played in a World Cup final. He's used to the big games and he's not really getting tested, so we can't really make a decision on Romero. Lads, that's it for this review. I'm pretty happy with the win. Uh, I just prefer if we just created a lot more chances, but I'm just nitpicking if I'm telling the truth. So anyway, so we got the next game, which I think I could be wrong, but I think it's Newcastle at home uh, next week. If I'm wrong, get your comments down below. Anyways, get your comments down below and tell me who was your man of the match. For me, it was Damien. Anyways, I'm your boy, Kuna7. Take care. Peace.